Good morning. Let's take four deep breaths. Great. How are you today? I am great. It is snowing out. It is beautiful. All right. Let's go to our calendar. Oh. Mr. Stubbs forgot to update the calendar. Do you think we can do it without the numbers? Let's try. So last Wednesday was January 20. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two. 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Great. Today is Wednesday, January 27th. All right. Where's my feelings chart? Here it is. Here we go. How do you feel today? Proud? Silly, excited, happy, or maybe you're sad or angry. How do you feel today? Pick one. Great. Which one did you pick? Yeah, I picked happy. Yeah. All right, it's time for question of the day. Mr. Stubbs, pick this one out today. I had two. I'm going to go with this one. Would you rather be tall or short? Would you rather be tall or short? Which one would you pick? <clears throat> Which one did you pick? Tall or short? I picked tall because I am tall and I kind of like being tall. It would be weird for me to be short, but that might be interesting too. Short. Great. All right, let's go over our signs today. So we've been practicing winter signs, and yesterday we practiced some fruit. But since it's snowing today, let's stick with our winter signs. Ooh, winter. Winter. Gloves. Gloves. So these are gloves. Gloves. Snow. Snow. Coat. 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 So it's like you're putting on a coat. Coat. Always a fun one. Socks. I bought new socks yesterday, actually. Socks. Socks. And I had to pay for them. Remember this one? Pay or buy. Hat. Hat. Great. Do you remember some of the fruit signs we did yesterday? Hmm. Oh, this one. Lemon. 
lemon, and pineapple. I love pineapple. Great. Oh, and this one was strawberry. Kind of like you're taking the stem off of a strawberry. Excellent. Great job listening. All right, so today's book is another book about bears, one of our favorites by Laura and Philip Bunting. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I love this book because of all the pictures inside the book. The pictures are great. This is the inside cover. Another book about bears, the title page. Once upon a time in a deep, dark forest, far, far away, there lived an old brown bear. No, no, no! Hold it right there. Not another book about bears. Do you know how many books have been written about us? I tell you, too many. Whenever you open up a book about a bear, we have to perform a story for you. Even if we're in the middle of something really good, like sleeping, snoozing, or napping, we have to jump up and do whatever the book says. Why do you like reading about bears so much? We're not so great. We're often greedy, grumpy, lazy, and a bit ferocious. And we're exhausted. We're sick of doing all of the work. The bear is angry. I see, I see. But who will the children read about? That's your problem. We quit. You can't quit. We can, and we just did. Hmm, we'll see about that. Mm, the bear wore a pink tutu and rode a tiny bicycle. Oh, I see. You'll make us look silly if we don't cooperate. Well, it won't work. He chowed down on piping hot porridge, then upset a hive of honeybees then turned a frog into a handsome prince with a big sloppy kiss. Nope. Oh, go on. The children cried and cried when their favorite character turned out to be a big selfish meanie. Oh, that's low. Fine, how about this? If I can find a better animal to star in your books, you leave us alone? No more books about bears? Deal? Okay, deal. Hold on, I know just the guy. Meet your new leading animal. Um, Bear, do you know how many elephants you can fit into one tiny book? Not many. They're too big. Hmm, okay, how about a uh, porcupine? Hmm, too spiky. Kitten, too cute. A crow, too noisy. A marmoset, too crazy. Star-nosed mole, whoa. Flying fox, too batty. Dodo? Too extinct. Crab, too pinchy. Horse, nay. Peacock, too fancy. Koala, too cuddly. Earthworm, too boring. Anglerfish, too ugly. Kangaroo, too jumpy. Salmon? Hey, who took the salmon? Too fast. Too slow. Too scary. Too scaredy. A blobfish? Seriously. 
That's all I've got. They're all the animals I know. Well, you don't see bear. Well, don't you see, Bear? No other animal has quite what it takes to star in all of those good books. Sure, bears are a bit greedy, grumpy, lazy, and even ferocious sometimes. But who isn't? The fact is, bears are just right. So what now? Don't worry, I have an idea. Hmm. Once upon a time in a deep, dark forest, far, far away, there lived an old brown bear. One day, the bear fell asleep and hibernated, uninterrupted for eight long months. Luckily, a few old friends agreed to help out while the bear took a well-deserved break. That says, do not disturb. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh, are these bears? Marmoset, cheetah, kangaroo. Excellent. And these are all fish. And this is the end cover. And the... Excellent. So this was called Another Book About Bears by Laura and Philip. I love that book. I hope you did too. All right. What time is it for? That's right. It is time for Joke of the Day. Are you ready to read Joke of the Day? Dun da da da. Here we go. Who cleans the bottom of the ocean. Who cleans the bottom of the ocean? Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, a mermaid. A mermaid. Excellent. I love to clean. Mr. Stubbs cleans his house. That's one of my jobs at my house, is to clean. Mm, I do dishes, vacuum, and dust. Yeah, all right. It's time for our four deep breaths. Good job, in through your nose, out through your mouth. So I hope today you listen, do good work, and be kind. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.